While you admired the games coming out of GDC, you may have missed the bike ride for biometrics, the smart medicine dispenser, and Kodak's interactive experience. Welcome to our final in case you missed it from the road, and that means pedicabs, and I still haven't had tacos. Please help. I know just the place. We're gonna have to hold on for real. I highly recommend our tuna. It's a sushi great, it's really awesome. Cheers. Kodak has made an app that captures your moments for social sharing that is totally ad free. This is the memory observatory and it's an exploration of memories uh, through your senses. What we're doing is helping people uh, tell stories and asking them questions about why that memory is important. We were at my family's lake cabin in Minnesota and he'd been afraid to get to jump off of the boat into the water and he did it and he was so proud of himself. Then we'll de deconstruct that memory and uh, reconstruct it using sight and smells and uh, sound and music. It's a chance to escape the noise and the clutter and the frenetic pace that's out here at South By. And now I'll make a check out to Kodak Therapies for at least $200, because that was intense. He's on to me. I'm here with the Hero, which is a smart appliance that manages medicine. It stores 10 different medications inside of it. The idea is that for people with lots of medications to manage, it'll dispense all of them smartly and then send push notifications in the app or email, SMS, however you want it, to let you know that grandma took her meds. Right now, this is available for pre-order for $4.99, but after this summer, $9.99. This is called the wand. It's a device you stick inside red wine to remove the histamines because they're jerks. As you get older, your body stops being able to deal with all the histamines, basically the pollutants within the things that you're drinking, and obviously you want to drink them. If anybody here has had to stop drinking red wine because it gives you terrible headaches, this thing might be for you. So I'm going to drink on the job now for work, guys. Be cool. And we found a cool app called Access Maps that uses Google's API to let people with disabilities rate places for accessibility. That means they can enjoy their lives, roam about, and get where they want to go easily. And it's crowdsourced. People for the win. I'm an ultra distance cyclist, so I uh, basically will do long races, 24 hour, 500 mile races, and the longest race is Race Across America, which is 3,050 miles from Oceanside, California to Annapolis, Maryland. We partnered with IBM, and so we do predictive analytics where I'll be down the road and what the weather conditions I'll face while we're racing. The riders here are experiencing some of the conditions I would face uh, on the road, and then they get to ride and see kind of what I have, what I rode. You know, the biggest part is how we used Watson to improve race performance. Real life, real person, you know, outside of, you know, everyday worlds, you do it in business, finance, and things. So, kind of like I'm the internet of Dave, I'm a machine riding, when do I have my downtime? How do I improve my performance? So really, it begs the question, is he a human or is he a cyborg? We're wrapping South by Southwest with a boost cruise, obviously. That's what we're gonna do. What a lovely sunset. Thanks, Thor. Oh my God.